I swear to goodness gracious, man, I thought the trade deadline was on Friday. What's going on? Why are we getting so many things happening now? The Nashville Predators have acquired Tyson Berry, Reed Schaefer, a first and a fourth from the Edmonton Oilers in exchange for Matthias Ekholm and a sixth. This is a blockbuster trade that under normal circumstances would be considered a blockbuster had it not taken place the same day as the Patrick Kane trade and all the Maple Leafs trades and the Pulley trade following up the McCabe trade it's been crazy the past few days. And Steven Sujimoto, thank you so much for your subscription here. I think it's going to pop up on the screen any minute here as we're recording on Streamlabs. But Matthias Ekholm is coming over to Edmonton to improve that blue line. And honestly, for a guy like Tyson Berry, I think you could kind of see it here. The first reply from Biznasty gutted for Barry because the guy's playing for Edmonton. He made the third round last year and all of a sudden, boop, he is now in Nashville where they're rebuilding, they're sending guys away, they're getting draft picks and the Predators are getting some pretty good assets here. I'm not going to lie. Tyson Berry, of course, is the defenseman that he is. Reed Schaefer is a really interesting prospect. Taken, when was he taken? Last season? Yeah, last year, 2022, 32nd overall, the end of the first round by the Oilers. He is a goal-scoring machine in the WHL. This season, he's got 23 goals and 47 total points in 44 games. Last season, he had more goals than he had assists. He has always been a pretty interesting talent to follow in the WHL, and now he is a Predators prospect that is indeed still quite young. But for Matthias Ekholm, the main piece coming over to this deal, 6'4", 216, left-handed guy, this is a very good defenseman. And he helped out the Predators as they made it to the Stanley Cup Finals back in 2016-17, alongside of that super stacked decor with Ryan Ellis, P.K. Subban, and Roman Yossi. Unfortunately, they lost to the Predators. While Ekholm has never really been the biggest point producer, I mean, he did have a 44-point year back in 2018-19. This season, everybody's been playing pretty poorly on Nashville. He's only got 18 points in 57 games played, but Ekholm is still Ekholm. He's good because of his all-around game, not just because of his offense and his numbers. And heading over to Edmonton, that's really what they need. Less offensive guys that can play on their blue line, and more regular, just good, solid guys that can play on their blue line. Swapping out Tyson Berry and his 4.5 AAV to the end of next season helps accomplish that pretty efficiently here. And Barry, I mean, this season he's got 43 points, 61 games played, heading over to Nashville, where now he'll probably, hopefully, help them score a few more goals. Ekholm has himself a contract that is expiring in 2026, 6.25 AAV because he's a very good defenseman, so he's got a little bit more term and he's a little bit more expensive, but the Oilers wanted to go out there and make this happen since they traded away Pugliarvi earlier today, so they freed up that $3 million that he puts on their salary cap space in the process. So... Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about this big trade. Ekholm to the Edmonton Oilers alongside of a sixth round pick in exchange for Tyson Berry, Reed Schaefer, a first and a fourth. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.